Hi everybody, welcome to this week's video for you, our wonderful school community. Lots of lovely things to celebrate this week, including the restarting of our, our visits, our enrichment programme, some wonderful trips have happened this week lovely to see in school as well as just reminders about things that are happening for Christmas including our Christmas jumper day on the 17th of December and some other things that are taking place in school too. Um, you'd have had your tickets this week for your entry to our celebrations in school um, and I hope to see you there. Don't forget the mince pies. Have a great weekend. Please stay safe. Just a reminder when you do come into the school building we will be asking you to wear a mask. This is so that I can keep your children safe and the staff safe too, as well as you, as our families. Have a great weekend. Take care. See you soon. This week, we have seen the return of our enrichment programme through trips and visits, with two visits taking place for reception and year two. The next two slides show reception's visit to Bodenham Arboretum out in Kidderminster, um, where they took part in the Nativity Trail, learning all about the Christmas story. And then Selly Manor for our year two children. This has been part of their history project and their theme with the, within the curriculum of the Great Fire of London. A great time was had by all and you can see from the wonderful photographs the importance of visits uh, to, and experiences our children have at Wren's Nest. Pupil Parliament have been busy suggesting ideas for further and upcoming competitions. Their next competition is their Christmas jumper design competition. Um, everybody has the opportunity to take part. There'll be two winners per year group who will receive a very festive prize. The deadline for entries is the 2nd of December and winners will be announced on the week beginning the 6th of December. Entries to be given to Miss Wire or a member of our pupil parliament. Uh, I know lots of you in school are already busy with your designing. Um, um, please take part and share in this Christmas fun and look out on our videos and on our website for the winners. Good luck to everybody. Talking of Christmas jumpers, I thought it was important to announce when our Christmas jumper day is in school. This year it's the 17th of December, which is the last day of term and the day in which we share Christmas lunch together as a school. So why not join in the festive fun? You can wear a Christmas jumper, you could wear a festive top, you could wear a Christmas colour, you might wear some tinsel in your hair or wear a headband. Anything that you've got that will make it feel a little bit more Christmassy and a li little bit more special in school. As you already know, we have a full adult education package for you, our families. We are really excited to announce that Job Club is now supported by the YMCA charity. This is held on Monday afternoons in the Adult Education Room. If you're interested, um, please, please come and visit. Um, just come into the main reception and the people that are involved will be happy to help. Our family support workers, Julie and Tracy, will be there to support you. Um, and it will be a great opportunity for you to search for jobs locally to help you either regain employment um, or find employment for the very first time. What a wonderful way to show your children um, the great aspirations for the future. And we thank YMCA for their support. Now on to the return of our Christmas Grand Draw. Um, this year, instead of our Christmas Fair, we have decided to hold another Grand Draw. Each child will bring home two books of raffle tickets, um, 20 a ticket or a pound for a book of tickets. If you can sell them all, wonderful. Um, the money this year will go towards buying additional reading books for children across all age ranges within school. Why not sell a ticket to a friend, family member and or a neighbour um, and hopefully they'll win one of our 20, at least 20 fabulous prizes. This year again, the first prize is £100 cash for you to spend on your family at Christmas time. Don't forget ticket stubs and the money you've raised will need to be returned to the school 
um, by classroom or main office no later than 12 noon on Friday the 10th of December. This is so the raffle draw can take place on the 10th of December um, after the children have gone home. We will film the prize draw, post it on the school website and parent hub as well as notify you that you've won a prize. I know lots of you have been very busy selling tickets and I can only thank you for that um, but if you would like to take any more tickets to sell to family and friends please don't hesitate to contact us in the school office um, we've got some more that we can give to you and that you can sell to raise money for our school funds. The next two slides just show some of the prizes that can be won this year, ranging from first prize being £100 cash to gift vouchers, bottles of sherry, chocolate hamper, as well as vouchers from places like Asda, um, or the local butchers, which is Williams Butchers, um, or Christmas books. Lots and lots of prizes for your children and you as families to enjoy. Um, we hope you take part in this this year in celebrating Christmas as well as supporting Wren's Nest School community. Christmas crafts this year will be taking place in your child's classroom. They will enjoy a morning full of Christmas craft activities as well as moving into the afternoon session. However, Throughout the morning, the children will be taking lots of photographs alongside their teachers um, of what they've been making to bring home, as well as a few extra surprises. These will appear on a video for your child's very own Christmas craft morning. This year, and this is the new part for this year, you will be then invited to share with your child in something new called Carols Around the Crib. And this is something you can take part in with your child at school um, to celebrate Christmas. Carols Around the Crib will be a wonderful experience you can take part in with your child here at school. They'll share with you in a really enchanting way through wonderful songs their celebration of Christmas. This will take place outside but undercover in our very own Christmas den. It's a little bit like Wren's Nest meets Bethlehem um, and you will be undercover so you, we are not reliant on dry weather. Mince pies will be served to you during the experience however again due to some slight restrictions in place there will only be one ticket per child brought home to you um, and again this is based on advice from Public Health England. This is a new experience um, for Rentnet and I hope one that you're excited about because you can come into the school grounds and enjoy your children celebrating Christmas through song. Please join us on the dates that are available for reception children to year four um, and tickets will be coming home to you soon. This week, your Carols Around the Crib ticket has been sent home with your child. It's got their name on. As I've said before, sadly, due to the rising COVID cases, we are outside and we've been asked just to keep numbers to the minimum. So it is only one ticket per family, um, but we will be able to share these moments with you um, on the website, as I've mentioned in previous slides. Please, at this time, just only one of you come into school because that way everybody can enjoy it and everybody can have a great time while staying safe. Wednesday the 15th of December is party afternoon at Wren's Nest for all children. Um, this will take place in your children's year groups. They're, they can bring their party clothes in a bag um, with them into school and they will get changed after lunch. Please this year do not bring any party food into school. Um, this is going to be provided for the children by school and this is on the advice of Public Health, Health England. As we move into the Christmas period, again, keeping COVID cases to a minimum, if at any at all. Um, this party will also include snack time for Santa, for our time for two children. Um, and this will take place for both morning and afternoon sessions. Santa comes for his breakfast with our lovely time for two children um, and has snack with them. This year, as I've said, party food for all children will be, will be provided by school. This year, children in year five and six 
we'll be visiting St Francis's Church and we'll be creating a traditional carol service for you to share in as part of their Christmas celebration in a beautiful, authentic church setting at Christmas time. To ensure we continue to keep you and the children and a, a school community COVID free this year in time for Christmas, the traditional carol service will be filmed and then shared with you via the school website. There will be a link for you to follow on the school homepage. Please watch the recorded video to share in this special experience as years five and six tell the story of Christmas through both song and readings. Our oldest children leading us in some tradition at this most magical time of year. Traditional Christmas lunch will take place on Friday the 17th of December. All children can take part in this special time in school. If your child prefers a packed lunch, not a problem. They can still join in by pulling a cracker and enjoying the festive fun. On this day, we will also be allowing children and staff to wear their Christmas jumpers. Um, so there'll be more detail regarding this at a later date. Um, they don't have to wear a Christmas jumper. You could tie some tinsel in your hair. You could wear a Christmas colour. You could wear something sparkly. Just so you can enjoy this different and special time of year. There will be more details about Christmas jumpers and Christmas dress up later on. But Christmas lunch returns this year on Friday the 17th of December. Don't forget to take regular looks at the school website. We are constantly updating it to make it the best it can be for you, our families and for our children at Wren's Nest. This week, take a look at our new curriculum page. Um, it's just got a different look and is a little bit easier to navigate. So have a look. And as always, if there's any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. This page just details all that we teach your children at Wren's Nest, um, the progression that they go through um, and anything related related to what we do at Wren's Nest for the curriculum. Um, links to our assemblies that again link to the curriculum. Enjoy! I just thought I'd remind you, um, who keeps your children safe in school? Lots and lots of staff at Wren's Nest keep your children safe in school, from class teachers, to phase leaders, to learning mentors, um, to class mentors, any grown up in school at Wren's Nest, we, we have a duty to keep your children safe. They're extremely precious to us and very important to us, just like they are you. Um, everybody at Wren's Nest has a responsibility to keep children safe and this is so important to us. There are also some people in school that have specific roles and I just wanted to remind you of those people. Um, myself, Mrs Parks, um, Miss Harris and also Mrs Smith. We are deputy designated safeguarding leads. And then there's Mrs Vivash, um, Miss Moran, to those of you who remember us, Miss Moran is our designated safeguarding lead. And we have statutory uh, duties to carry out in school to make sure all children and staff um, are safe, are kept safe and are happy in school. So these are the key people um, you would speak to if you have a concern or you want to praise good practice or something you just want to talk to us about. Um, but just be reassured, it's a really safe and happy place to be. Um, and there's lots of people in school that keep your children safe and they can go to about anything um, and they can talk to and that's the most important thing there's always somebody there for them to be able to turn to ask your child what this visitor badge means and what they should do if they see a grown-up in school not wearing one of these um, this is part of our safeguarding teaching for your children and is shared in assembly with your children so i thought i'd share this slide with you just so that you too know part of the education we provide your children about staying safe and how to keep safe both in and out of school congratulations to this week's vips these are children who we see as role models in school for other children both in their behavior through their effort and also achievement in class. Well done to all of you, congratulations. As you know, we have been celebrating Readers of the Week at Wren's Nest. These are children that are trying really hard and achieving well within their reading.
Whether that's learning a new sound in phonics or beginning to blend letters together to read words or whether that's exploring a new genre to read for pleasure. We want to celebrate all of you. This is something that we are really passionate at, about at Wren's Nest um, and we are supporting the children in school to work really hard on to achieve great results within literacy. Let's see who our readers of the week are this week. Well done to all of you, our excellent readers, trying really hard to read new words, learn new sounds, read new genres of books, but also develop your understanding of what you are reading. Right across our school, lots of different skills gained to be able to read. Um, a huge well done to you. We are proud of you. Keep up the excellent work. Now for our Mathematicians of the Week, let's see who they are in early years, key stage one, and who are rock stars of the week? Who's been on TT rock stars um, in key stage two, that is three, four, five and six. Not only are we celebrating academic achievement and progress in literacy and maths. Um, we're also celebrating our super scientists at Wren's Nest. So well done to all of you who have tried and tested things, found out how things work and found out the way in which things in our world work the way they do. Well done to all of you. Keep up the excellent science work. I know Miss Wire is very proud of you. Well done to our winners this week. What great attendance you've achieved. Attendance is really important to us. Uh, it always has been at Wren's Nest because we like you at school every single day. And as parents, you support us in that, bringing your children to school every day, uh, getting them up, getting them out. Um, it can be really hard, but thank you very much for supporting us in, in great attendance. And this is what we want to focus on this year. After a very difficult year last year um, for attendance in schools, we want Wren's Nest attendance to be amazing and wonderful. And thank you for supporting us with that. To support communication during the lockdown period, for those of you working at home, we created the email addresses for each of the year groups um, at school. These are still available. So please, if you need to speak to your teacher, you want to drop them an email, whether that's to ask them about something that you've done in school or whether you want to ask them about homework they've set you, or you just want to tell them about something wonderful that you've done, why not drop them an email? Um, they'd love to hear from you. As always, it's important to stay connected and the parent hub that we have for Wren's Nest, as well as our school website, are the first places to visit to get any up-to-date information. As you've heard me say before, please pass on any of this key information to anyone you know who doesn't have access to Parent Hub or the school website and pass on this information that can be crucial sometimes um, in giving parents up-to-date information. So if you are connected, please pass it on. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Lots of ways you are able to contact us now. We've got various email addresses, as you've seen in the previous slides. And we've also got our info address um, that you can get any questions or queries to me directly. Um, the school telephone line, as always, you're welcome to call us and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and also the school mobile, that is there for you to call should you need to. And if you'd like to WhatsApp any work, uh, your child's done at home you are more than welcome to that function is still available but you know we've got a very very clear open door policy at Wren's Nest we're always here to help you um, and somebody is always there um, should you need them so please if you need us don't hesitate to contact us um, and don't ever think a question is too small um, to ask that's what we're here for I hope you've enjoyed our celebration slides this week and sharing in these as a Wren's Nest community.
it's become our phrase really during the period of um the last 12 months but Wren's Nest is here for you it always has been and it always will be so if you if you do need anything you or your child or your family and we can help in any way please don't ever hesitate to contact us um we are here for all of you and we're all in this together have a great weekend I will see you all next week thank you for your ongoing support take care